Hi everybody, this is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a page in your WordPress site. Now here I am in the dashboard, and on the left-hand side of the panel, you will see, the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a menu option called Pages. When you hover over it, you see All Pages and Add New. All Pages will show you a list of all the pages you currently have on your site, and Add New, as you guessed it, will make a new one. So we're going to click on Add New. And it's very similar to creating a post. You'd enter a title here. And then you'd enter a you enter the content down here. And as you can see, when you enter the title and you move out of the title field, the permalink is generated. And then you can customize permalinks if you click on the change permalinks button. This is a this is the stock WordPress permalink that you see here. It's very bad for SEO. So you definitely want to change permalinks, which I show you how to do in a different video to make it better for SEO. And depending on your theme, once you have your title and your content in, you can choose a different template on the right hand side. So for this theme, this is the 2015 uh, WordPress theme that WordPress makes, and there's two different page templates. There's contributor page and full width page. Oh, I guess there's three. There's also the default page. Now, the best thing to do if you don't know what each one does is just try it. Pick one, go to preview, and see what it looks like. If you're using, or depending on which theme you're using, you might have only the default template, or you might have 20 different page types. And you just have to figure out which ones are the best for your purposes. And just like with, with publishing a post, if you're not ready to publish it, you can save it as a draft. You can change the visibility to public, password protected. So you enter a password here. And if someone goes to that URL, they have to enter the password that you put here. Otherwise, the page won't open. And there's also private which means you have to be logged in as the admin user and then you see the, this page. Only admin users can see this page when they're logged in. We're just going to keep it on public for the purpose of this video. And you can also publish immediately, which is the default, or you can post date the publish. So you could publish it tomorrow or you could publish it 20 years ago. Really, it's up to you. It's up to what you, the, the way you want to set up your blog. What we usually do is we publish, well, we publish one article a day at WP Learning Lab. And so we, we post publish or we, we post date the publishing. We don't publish and write the day of the article going live. We have a certain number of articles always ready to publish. So there's a bit of buffer room. So if life happens, you can still publish. You can still, the people, your visitors don't notice that life happened. Let's put it that way. They don't notice that you're not writing today because your content is still being published on a regular basis, which is fantastic. So if you're all done and you like everything that you see and you got your content in, your title in, your, your publishing options are right, just click on publish and you have a page. Now you're probably wondering what the difference is between a post and a page and I'll, I'll go over that in a different video as well. But if we click on view page, you'll see here it is. Here's what we wrote. This is the title of my page and this is the content. And that's it. Again, this is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and go to our blog because we publish there daily on WordPress. I'll talk to you soon.